What's up, y'all? So today I am answering literally every question that you guys have been asking about my crochet braids. I know every video I do, I miss questions about installments. So this is everything you guys want to know. If you have any questions, make sure you check out my other videos that are linked down below. So I'm going to start with the braiding pattern. This is the braiding pattern that I've recently been doing. First I part my hair across the crown and then I part my middle part and then I put two braids and I cross the ends of the braid so it can stop the part. And then I disperse the other braids going towards my ear and then I form them into braids in the back. Now how you braid the back of your hair honestly does not matter but this will help your hair lay flatter. So the hair that I'm using is Freetress Water Wave in the color TT30 and it's 1B at the top in like a golden honey blonde at the end and I've recently been loving this color I love how it highlights my face so yeah this is the hair that you guys have been asking about I'll have the hair linked below where you can get websites so I have the hair and I'm using a wooden um, handle crochet needle or a latch and hook needle. Um, I like the larger one because it's more efficient, it's easier, and it's way more durable and it helps me work really fast. So a very frequently asked question is, do I separate the hair? On my other installs, I did not, but recently I've been loving the more natural and larger look of separating the strands. You could do it how I'm doing here, and this is the way I love to do it when the crocheted hair is already secure in my head, or you can do it before you actually crochet the hair in but definitely you want to start from the middle or start from the end and then separate it out if you want a really poofy look then you can like split the hair into two I don't split the hair into two because that just makes the hair super duper poofy so yeah So I'm just going to show you how I work my way up because a lot of you guys have been requesting that I just show you how I do my crochets from start to finish. I think it would be um, a little bit too long to show the entire process, but I am showing you a great sum of how I get from point A, which is no crochets in to point B, which is a head full of crazy hair. If you guys would like to see an alternative braiding pattern to the one that I'm using, if you think it's a bit too advanced or a bit too complicated, I will have a video linked below. It's my Marley crochet braid video and it shows the braiding pattern that I used to use. Now I'm going to show you guys how to crochet and secure your knots. So you put your needle through, you put the hair on the hook, you close it, you pull the hair through, then you want to grab the loop and you first want to take both strands of the hair through the loop and then you want to grab one of the strands and pull it tight and this is going to secure your knots. So I'm just going to do it once again. Put your hook through, grab your hair, place it on the hook, close it, pull the hair through, grab the loop, first take both strands through the loop and then take one strand and pull the hair tight and that is going to 
secure your loops. They're not going to slide. They're not going to come out or anything. So now I'm going to show you how to do an invisible part and it's really hard with this kind of hair. You want to put the hair on the hook as usual and pull it through. But this time instead of grabbing both strands you want to grab one strand and pull the hair tight. And the idea with the invisible part is you want the knot to be underneath the braid. And I only do one strand. You can um, double take the strand, you know, double knot the strand, but I do one strand because as you could see, I had to pull the knot that I made in and out of the braid. So I know that was really complicated. So I'm showing you once again, I grab the loop. I'm taking only one strand to knot it once so it could be loose enough. So if my knot goes on one side of the braid as it did, as you can see, and I can move it on the bottom. So yeah, that's the gist of it. I love this invisible part method. It's not as smooth as if you do Marley hair because the strands are obviously way wider, but it still gives your hair a nice clean look. So I am done and this is how my middle part looks. It looks so awesome, it looks neat, and it looks very natural. I hope all of your questions were answered through this video. If not, make sure you check out my three crochet videos linked down below. I've been answering so many questions that have been in my videos and I do these videos for you guys to inform you so watch this video thoroughly and watch my other videos thoroughly I will not be answering any questions that are revealed through these videos so I hope you guys enjoyed I hope you love my installment tweet me and Instagram me pictures of yours bye